collectors today we're gonna have a different video for you guys now i wanted to make this last week but i just had to make sure that it's it's somewhat you know it's legitimate and it's actually happening and i looked at a couple of trusted websites and it is looking good today we're gonna be talking about the buzz liar alpha suit as it figures very hesitant at first since it's a 90 dollars for a six inch figure but then again you know i've never had a figuarts action figure so it might as well this is gonna be the first one i get to share with you guys i get to compare it see what the hype is all about now check a couple of websites as you can see the pre-orders is already sold out this started i believe last week and it started from around 90 to 95 dollars and right now toy Wiz is the one that has it for pre-order still and as you can see i got this for actually around a uh, hundred dollars they even bump up the price to 119 now this is coming from Japan. I think it's it costs around $65, $70 there, but of course they gotta ship it. So let's go ahead and take a look at light here. Now it's made by Bandai SH Figuarts and just look at the details. For some people they like it, some people they like the animation or the toy story. And for us, we like all Buzz Lightyear. I even like it with different I was wondering maybe one of these days they'll have like a different suit, different color, kind of like Iron Man. Let us know what color combination you want for Buzz. For us, maybe kind of like a Zerg combination, like a purple and gray. That would be, that'd be nice too. Now the contents in this packaging is you got first a body. Then you have three pairs of hands. Look so like you have one that's pointing, one that's holding the blade, and one closed fist. Then you have two optional head. One with hair, one without. Now you cannot move his eyes. It's just a complete head swap. Not like the other ones where the face comes off or the hair comes off. This one's just a full head. Comes with a jetpack and it comes with parts too to extend it or it's just probably a wing that you can attach it to show that it's open then you have your rascal blaster i'm guessing and then you could also attach it on his right hip let's see if we can find a photo oh no his thighs i thought it goes on his hip so it might be a separate thigh to attach the blaster kind of like here and you have it on his thighs you have the dx laser blade kind of reminds me of a lightsaber having on his hand and does it attach on his back or is it just posed? It'd be nice too if it actually goes in his back. You got the gauntlet strap around his wrist there or his arm. Show it right here. It's also, I believe that's also a weapon, I'm guessing. Now he has two lasers. You got one here and you got his rascal blaster. But what do you guys think of the color though? You think it would have been better if he would have just matched his suit like white or green? Kind of like his jetpack here too. Make it like white and green. What do you guys think? Then the Tomashi stage connector. Now, I'm guessing that would be a stand maybe. Just to kind of hold Buzz up. Hopefully that would be it. Because for $94, that's... And just a heat of warning, guys. Technically, the product's not even finalized yet. So the pictures that you guys see here, it can change a little bit. It could be tweaked a little bit. And also, these are rendered photos to make it look really, really nice. So when you actually have it on your hand, it's not going to look as crisp as this, maybe. So you can see, it doesn't even have its light year name here yet. Because these are just rendered photos. I mean, it gets us really excited. I mean, just look at that posability. Look at that standing up with this helmet off. Just look at the details on that. You got the zero one. Then here you got the rascal blaster pointing it out. Which one is your favorite pose so far? You got the wrist communicator. Now, huh? The wrist communicator. Hopefully they make it a little bit more detailed than that. It looks like it's just his arms and just just a little bulk or a little bump. It would have been nice if there's like maybe like a little screen there. Look at the back. You got the alpha suit number two. In the front with the dome on. It's getting us hyped to watch the movie even more. It hasn't come out yet. We got about a month left. As you can see here, his wings doesn't extend as much as like Toy Story. It would also be nice if they have those half dome that just goes halfway through his back. Then of course you have a fully closed one. Looking at the detailed jetpack, would this be for the karate chop feature? <laughs> well, at least they have the the red and the green light here. That's kind of like Toy Story. Then you have it extended out here. It would have been nice if this was acrylic rather than just paint. Also, I wished he would have had like a utility belt. What do you guys think? Kind of like Toy Story, right? Or actually the XL0, uh, the, the space suit that he had, had a utility belt there. This one doesn't. It would be nice to have like a utility belt. And he definitely has an ab crunch. Look at him here. Kind of crunching his abs, going down that way. And then this one is just straight up. Now, it's estimated to arrive in August. Now, I'm, take that with a grain of salt because I remember pre-ordering my Disney Mirrorverse. It's supposed to go in August. I didn't get it until September, October. I think I didn't get it until late October. See, it says pre-order. Everybody's saying August. This website saying it's 
August. This website is also saying August. I just go with November. As far as website that I recommend, I mean, I, I've gotten some from BBTS. I don't really have a preference. This one, I just had no choice because this was the only one that had the pre-order. And they paid $100. And then now they mark it up to 120 because they're the only one that has it. It's supposed to be 24. So there's supposed to be 24 pieces. Quantity 24 piece. Made out of plastic, PVC. You got your dimension probably on the box there as well. So this is going to be our first SH figures. Now let us know in the comments below if you guys have any action figures. We want to know how if it's stable, is it flimsy, is it sturdy, is it heavy. Let us know. Cause that's the stuff that I'm going to be comparing it next to our dynamic action hero buzz or cinema rice now I understand those are a little bit on the cheaper side so I'm going to be expecting a lot from this so this is the Disney Liar SH Fig Wars now is this something you guys would spend your money on let us know collectors unite